Welcome to the Management Functions and Organizational Processes lesson on Leading and Motivating. By the end of the video, you will learn about leadership styles and theories and the difference between a successful versus effective leader. You will also learn about motivation and its meaning, importance, factors, and steps, and types and theories of motivation. Leadership transcends mere management, it's an art that involves guiding, influencing, and motivating team members towards achieving shared objectives. Effective leadership is critical in the controlling function of management, as it ensures that organizational goals are met through the efficient and effective utilization of resources. By understanding and applying various leadership styles and theories, leaders can foster an environment that promotes productivity, collaboration, and organizational success. The Hawthorne studies brought to light the profound impact of psychological and social factors on employee productivity. Contrary to initial assumptions, these studies revealed that productivity increased under varying conditions of life, rest, and work hours, not due to the physical changes themselves but due to the social and emotional attention received by the workers. This unexpected outcome underscored the importance of human elements in the workplace, suggesting that acknowledging workers' social needs and providing recognition can significantly enhance their performance and sense of unity. Douglas McGregor's Theory X and Theory Y offer a stark contrast in leadership perspectives. Theory X posits that employees inherently dislike work and must be coerced into performing, while Theory Y suggests that work is natural, and employees are self-motivated towards achieving goals. This dichotomy challenges leaders to introspect their views on employee motivation and adapt their leadership style to foster an environment where employees feel motivated, valued, and responsible. The Iowa Leadership Studies delved into how authoritarian, democratic, and laissez-faire leadership styles affect team dynamics and satisfaction. The democratic style emerged as the most preferred, highlighting the value of participatory decision-making and inclusive leadership in fostering positive group dynamics and satisfaction. These findings illuminate the significance of adapting leadership styles to encourage engagement and productivity among team members. The Michigan studies identified two primary leadership orientations, employee-oriented and production-oriented. The research found that leaders who prioritize the well-being and individual needs of their team members, employee-oriented, tend to achieve higher levels of team performance than those who focus solely on task accomplishment, production-oriented. This highlights the critical role of relationship building and individual attention in achieving organizational success. The Ohio State studies introduced the dimensions of consideration and initiating structure in leadership. Consideration involves showing empathy and support for team members, while initiating structure focuses on defining roles and objectives. Effective leadership requires balancing these dimensions to foster a productive and positive work environment, where team members feel valued and clear on their objectives. Frederick Taylor's scientific management emphasizes the importance of methodical and efficient work processes for maximizing productivity. This approach advocates for a clear delineation between planning and execution, with leadership focused on optimizing work methods for enhanced performance. While this model prioritizes efficiency, it also necessitates leaders to balance technological advancements with the human aspects of management. Trait theory seeks to identify the personal characteristics that are common among successful leaders, such as intelligence, decisiveness, and self-confidence. However, it's essential to recognize that leadership effectiveness is not solely dependent on these traits but also on how leaders adapt to situational demands and interact with their team. This theory prompts a broader understanding of leadership that encompasses both innate qualities and adaptive skills. However, leadership is not merely a collection of traits, it's an exchange, a dance between leaders and followers. The group and exchange theories highlight this dynamic interaction, where the leader's role is to provide rewards, whether it be through recognition, empowerment, or tangible benefits, in exchange for the followers' efforts towards the common goals. Imagine a leader not as a commander but as a conductor, orchestrating a symphony where each note played by the followers contributes to a harmonious outcome. Diving deeper into the social learning theories, we understand that leadership is also a product of the environment and interactions within it. 
This theory illustrates that leaders and followers learn from each other through observation, imitation, and modeling. It's a powerful reminder that leadership is not a one-way street but a shared journey of growth, discovery, and adaptation. The managerial grid theory offers a strategic framework for understanding leadership styles. It suggests that the most effective leaders are those who can strike a balance between concern for production and concern for people. This theory challenges leaders to think of themselves as architects, designing environments that foster productivity while nurturing the well-being of their team members. In the ever-changing tapestry of organizational life, the contingency theory of leadership reminds us that there is no one-size-fits-all solution. This theory advocates for a chameleon-like approach, where leaders adjust their style based on the situation's demands, the team's needs, and the specific challenges at hand. It's about being as adaptable as water, shaping your leadership to the contours of the environment. The path goal leadership theory illuminates the leader's role in making the journey toward goals clearer and more achievable for followers. By identifying and removing obstacles, providing necessary support, and rewarding achievements, leaders can pave a road to success that is both inspiring and attainable. It's akin to a guide lighting the way through a dense forest, ensuring that every team member reaches the clearing. Charismatic leadership theories captivate us with the allure of leaders who possess an almost magical ability to inspire and influence. These leaders draw followers into their vision, creating a bond that is built on trust, admiration, and a shared sense of purpose. It's the magnetic pull of their personality and conviction that can move mountains and transform organizations. Transformational leadership theory transcends the transactional nature of typical leader-follower interactions, advocating for a deeper, more meaningful connection. Transformational leaders are visionaries who inspire followers to exceed their own limitations and contribute to something greater than themselves. They are the torchbearers of change, igniting the potential within each team member to achieve extraordinary results. Servant leadership turns the traditional hierarchy upside down, placing the leader at the service of their team. This humble approach to leadership emphasizes the growth, development, and well-being of followers above all else. It's a reminder that true leadership is about elevating others, acting as the wind beneath their wings, enabling them to soar higher than they ever thought possible. The concept of substitutes for leadership challenges us to consider situations where traditional leadership may not be the primary driving force. In some contexts, the systems, processes, or intrinsic motivation of team members can carry the team forward, making the leader's direct influence less central. It's a fascinating exploration of autonomy and self-organization within teams. Authentic leadership invites us to embrace the power of genuineness and integrity in leadership. Authentic leaders are true to themselves and their values, fostering environments of trust, transparency, and ethical behavior. It's about being the same person in every situation, true to your core, unwavering in your values, and consistent in your actions. Motivation is a multifaceted phenomenon, encompassing more than just tangible rewards. It's about engaging in meaningful work feeling appreciated, and seizing opportunities for personal and professional growth. When employees are motivated, they not only achieve targets with greater enthusiasm but also contribute innovative ideas and solutions, driving the organization forward. This environment fosters creativity, commitment, and a shared sense of purpose. Why is motivation paramount? Because motivated employees are the architects of innovation and quality. They constantly seek improvements, striving for excellence in every task. This relentless pursuit of betterment not only enhances productivity but also elevates the organization's standards, setting it apart in the competitive landscape. Motivated employees are indeed the cornerstone of organizational success, embodying the drive and determination that fuel progress. Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs illustrates our motivations as a ladder of human desires. At the base are our physiological needs, essential for survival. As we ascend, we seek safety, love, esteem, and ultimately, self-actualization, the realization of our fullest potential. 
Each step represents a motivational force, compelling us to climb higher in pursuit of personal and professional fulfillment. Frederick Hertzberg's two-factor theory distinguishes between hygiene factors and motivators. Hygiene factors, such as job security and pay, prevent dissatisfaction but don't necessarily motivate. True motivators, like achievement and recognition, genuinely inspire employees to excel. Understanding this distinction can guide leaders in crafting strategies that not only avoid dissatisfaction but actively foster a motivated and engaged workforce. David McClellan's theory of motivation delves into the need for achievement, power, and affiliation, suggesting that these needs drive our behavior at work. Victor Broom's expectancy theory posits that motivation is a result of rational calculations. Employees are motivated when they believe their effort will lead to desired performance and when they value the rewards tied to that performance. B.F. Skinner introduced the concept of behavior modification through positive reinforcement. When employees are commended for their achievements, they're likely to continue their productive behavior. This simple yet powerful approach can significantly enhance motivation and performance, reinforcing the desired actions and outcomes within the organizational setting. That's it for now. For additional information on this lesson, please look at the content below the video in the online course. To get a list of the important questions and their answers for this lesson, please refer to the guidebook by our publications provided to you with this course for free. It shows you a list of all the questions that have the highest chance of coming in your next exams based on research carried out on previous year question papers. All the best, and I'll see you in the next lesson.